Kurt Broderson, the Technology Coordinator at Ilse Public Library. Welcome to the Digital Media Lab. This tutorial will show you how to digitize cassettes. Those files can then be burned onto CD or uploaded to your MP3 player to listen to after you leave the library. Starting out is very easy. Turn on the cassette deck and pop your tape in. There's no need to rewind it just yet. After that, turn to the computer and the directions will follow from there. First, click on System Preferences in the dock. Click on Sound, Output, and select Headphones. Then go to Input and make sure you select USB Audio Codec with the lowercase audio. If you start playing your cassette, you can see the audio registering here, so you know sound is getting into the system. Now is a good time to rewind that tape. Close that window. If you click anywhere on the desktop, then to the Go menu, Applications, and then scroll to find Audacity folder. Double click on the icon to open the program. You can close this window and stretch this one sideways to give yourself some more room to work. You'll notice USB audio codec with the lower case has been selected. Go to this microphone Select Start Monitoring, and we'll be able to hear the playthrough of the music. Go to Audacity, Preferences, Recording, Deselect Overdub, and select Software Playthrough. Now we'll be able to hear the music as we're recording it. Click on Record to start recording, and play on the cassette deck. You'll see red lights lighting up to indicate the recording volume and the green lights indicate the playing volume. A straight line like this is just tape noise in the background. Now you'll see that music is beginning to be recorded. I've muted it here so that we can see it, but you can hear me instead. You can relax until it's time to record side two. When you get to the end of the side of the cassette, hit pause on Audacity you can fast forward to the end, flip it over, and it will be ready to record side two. When that's ready, start playing the cassette and unpause on Audacity to resume recording. We'll deal with this long stretch of silence later. I'll pick up when we get to the end of the album. When you get to the end of side two, hit stop on Audacity. Now is a good time to eject your cassette from the deck so you don't forget it when you leave the Digital Media Lab. Go to File, Save Project As. You notice the warning reminding you that this is just saving as an Audacity project, not an actual audio file. Give it a name. The album title is a good one. Save it to the desktop where you can easily find it. Now let's deal with the silence at the end. Drag across it, hit delete on your keyboard, and it's gone. If you deleted too much, go up to edit and undo your work. Now scroll back to in between sides 1 and 2. There's a larger chunk of silence to delete here. So again, click, drag, and delete on your keyboard. Now it's more manageable. From here we can hit the rewind button to jump to the start of the album and delete the few seconds of unwanted silence there. Now we're going to label the song titles. Click at the beginning of the first song, go to track, add label at selection. Notice the keyboard shortcut command B. We'll use that later. In the new track at the bottom enter the first song title. Scroll to the beginning of the next song. Click inside the timeline and use Command B on your keyboard this time to enter the track label. Put in the song title and then repeat this step for each of the songs on the album. Remember, if you forget the shortcut, you can always go up to Tracks 
and add label that way. But the command B saves a lot of time. When you've labeled all your songs, hit rewind to the beginning, go to file, and edit the metadata. This is where we'll put in the artist's name, the album title, the year, and the genre. We can leave track title and track number blank for now. Click on OK. Click on OK again. Go to File, Save Project again so we don't lose any of that work. Go back to File, Export Multiple. Select AIFF for the export format if you want to make a CD or MP3 if that's what you want instead. Choose. We're going to go to the desktop and create a new folder. And let's give it the same album title. Click on Choose. Click on Numbering Before Labels or Track Name and Export. It'll ask us to double check each song. We can just hit OK for each one of these. Audacity doesn't like question marks or slash marks in titles, so they may cause problems and you'll have to delete them. When it's done exporting, click on OK. Now you're done, and you can quit out of Audacity. You'll notice a folder on your desktop with the songs you just created. Check out our other tutorials for how to burn these to CD or move them to an MP3 player. Make sure you copy all of these folders and files to a thumb drive or other removable storage. Delete the files and folders from the desktop when you're done after you make sure you've got a copy of them. If you need any help, feel free to find me in the library. I'd be happy to help you with your project.